click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique. Friends, as we all discussed in the earlier lectures about the pulse width modulation technique and how the technique can be used to control the output voltage of an inverter. Now friends, let's talk about how we can use a sine wave and a pulse width modulation technique which is called sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique and we can control the output voltage. So friends, if you can see here, here in the earlier lectures we were using some reference constant signal as a reference signal but here we will be using a sine wave as a reference signal let's draw a sine wave now friends if we put say this is a r now i'm going to draw the triangular wave so as per the comparator operation here from the time interval this to say this point as the reference signal is less than the courier signal where this is the courier signal so we will be getting a zero output if we draw a graph between the output voltage and the time now friends from this point to this point as the courier is less than the reference signal we will be getting an one output and the value of this will be Vs again friends from this point to this point again we will be getting a Vs output however here we will be getting the negative Vs and this is the minus Vs. So friends, this is how we can control the sine wave or we can control the reference sine wave that we have taken as a reference wave. We can control the time period so that the width will be controlled and ultimately the output voltage we can control. So friends, let's calculate what about the output voltage RMS value and the instantaneous value and the constant AN and VN, how to calculate it, what will be the value of it. The output voltage average value will be equal to Vs into summation M is equal to 1 to P del M divided by pi and under root. This will be the average value of the output voltage. Now friends, the value of AN which is required to determine the instantaneous value of the output voltage is equal to summation m is equal to 1 to p 2 vs divided by n pi sine n lambda m plus del m minus sine n lambda m and bn will be is equal to m is equal to 1 to p 2 vs divided by n pi cos n alpha m minus cos n alpha m plus lambda m so this will be the value of a n and b n and the average value of the output voltage will be this one so friends to summarize we saw how we can control the output voltage by changing the pulse width of a sinusoidal wave Thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda and please stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.